What's up? My name is Nick Tapiro. I play guitar in the band Night Versus and the band Head Cave. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I dial in my tones with the Abbasi Lerata H string using my pedals and various effects and stuff like that going into Logic X. And uh, yeah, show you guys how I write. Um, so pretty much in this chain, I have a couple pitch shifting pedals. I have a Ricochet from Digitech, which is basically, I would say like the whammies kind of cousin a little bit. Um, they do similar things, but the Ricochet gives you a lot more control over how your pitch is getting shifted. Um, so you can kind of like, you know, harness it a little bit and do very specific uh, note fluctuations. So like, for example, I can have it do like stay on like the low setting, which is an octave down. Um, you can go two octaves down. You can also do some crazy stuff with like, the momentary switch too. So you can have like a kind of a long, like almost like a siren kind of sound. And it'll just progressively go up, which is why I like this pedal a lot. It's a lot of flexibility with that kind of stuff. Um, and then I also have the whammy, which is, I'm sure most people are familiar with that pedal, but it's another pitch shifter. It's kind of like the best pitch shifter in my opinion, um, because it has the expression in it. And it's really like a pedal I use often because you can do harmonies with it. You can do really heavy octave tones with it, um, which goes really well with this guitar, even though I tune this to drop F or so drop F open tuning, but the low F, if I want to make that go even farther, I can hit the octave on here. And with distortion, you can get really like chunky, heavy tones, even with like, I combine it with a fuzz pedal too, which, uh, if I put on Distortion app, it sounds really gnarly. But um, yeah, so I have the Whammy for that. I do a lot of pitch shifting with both of those pedals. Then I also have the Precision Drive from Horizon Devices, which for overdrive is as good as I would ever need. So I use that for leads and things like that when I'm on my clean channel to give it like a little boost sometimes as well. I have the Holy Grail uh, Nano Reverb from Electro Harmonics, which uh, has a really cool kind of like flanger-esque kind of reverb sound get kind of like this sort of like watery kind of tone. Um, which I like a lot. And that's like the, the flurb setting. So there's also normal reverb settings, but I like to keep it on what's called the flurb setting. And uh, I use that a lot. And I use that combined with this MXR reverb, which uh, this pedal, I feel like is pretty awesome because it has a lot of different reverbs in it. So I generally have it on the plate setting but um, it has a long kind of decay, which I have it set to right now. Um, but yeah, that pedal is great. And I use that for a lot of clean tones and stuff. And that goes really well with this guitar too, especially on this pickup setting, which uh, I don't know which exactly terminology, like what name it is, but this tone kind of like that. I don't think it's single coil, but maybe. Sounds really cool with those effects. And then I also have an Earthquaker Devices Grand Orbiter. So specifically right now, I have it on this crazy setting that makes it like. It's a little intense. 
but it's cool with uh, you know random things or if you're doing like a low rhythm and you hit like a high note. For my delays, I have a pretty simple delay setup, I would say. I use the Boss DD20 because it's a tank. Boss pedals are all tank pedals in my opinion. They can take a lot of abuse. As you can see, this pedal is pretty much falling apart, but it's not really. It is physically, but it's working very well. I've had that thing for probably like 14 years or something like that. I've had this for almost as long. Um, these pedals are both like mainstays in my touring rig. So if I'm ever, you know, in the studio, I might switch up my delays a little bit just because I think, you know, there are some more like distinguished delays maybe, or like more, there's more dynamic delays out there. These just do exactly what I need for a quarter note, just like straight up delay. The dotted, de I use this for dotted delay. So anything that's kind of like that fast, uh, you know, dotted effect. <laughs> Um, that's how I use that DD6 pedal. So I use a Dunlop uh, 95Q wall pedal. And the reason why this wall pedal is awesome is because you don't need to push any switch to turn it on. It just works. So like as soon as you step on it, you get a response. Which uh, is really cool for live use. And it's also different because if you have a pedal where you hit the switch on in the top, that means you're starting in the up position. So that kind of determines like the sound of your effect a little bit. So by this, I can actually creep in the wall without just starting up here. So that's mainly why I use that. Also just for ease of, uh, you know, transitions and just being faster, I can, I can hit that on. And then all of these are controlled by this Boss ES8 pedal switcher, which is a game changing thing for me because this thing allows me to control all of my pedals, bring them in and out. It also allows me to control my whammy settings with the MIDI options on here. And uh, I have basically the ability to do scene changes. So a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this, you guys use Axe Effects, Quad Cortex, and things like that um, to do scene changes. So you build your patches, you have you know all the effects you wanna use, maybe per part, per song, whatever it is. Um, I can't do that without those things, but with this, it allows me to do that. So I can basically have patches ready. So, you know, in here, I have different banks. And so you'll see like all the way down to uh, bank one or zero here. I have the label Vice Wave. This is a Night Versus song. And uh, each thing I push here is going to change all, it's gonna change the whammy settings. It's gonna change my amp from being clean to distortion. It's gonna change uh, which pedals are active at the moment um, because you can keep all these pedals on essentially and uh, control them with this. I, I actually really like to use uh, pedals as they are just straight up because each company you know, has a specific uh, goal with each pedal. So like this phaser is just focused on being a phaser. The pitch shifter is focused on just being a pitch shifter. It's not trying to do everything else. So by having individual pedals, you have individual control over each setting you're doing. Uh, you can kind of like, you know, really get the most out of that effect by having just an isolated pedal. And that's what I like about it. I like seeing all the pedals in front of me. Um, the challenge obviously is if something goes wrong, you have to dissect all this stuff. There's a lot of cables, different things that could be happening there that could become an issue. But aside from that, I really enjoy having a variety of pedals to choose from. Again, my name is Nick DiPiro. Thank you guys for watching. I play guitar in the band Night Verses and Head Cave. You can find those links on my Instagram page or those Instagram pages at Nick DiPiro, at Head Cave, at Night Verses on Instagram. 
and uh, follow Abbasi Concepts on YouTube and everywhere else for more content like this.